1496. Long. You had one yet? Uh-uh. They're good. the Joe's Hungry channel. Like, share, and subscribe at your heart's content. It helps. I want to thank everybody for taking time to leave comments in the channel update last week. It really helps me out. In this episode, I'm going to review a returning menu item, the Culver's Wisconsin Big Cheese Pub Burger on the menu last in 2017. The Culver's Pub Burger is made up of one, two, or three beef patties, three kinds of Wisconsin cheese, cheddar, American, and Havarti, roasted garlic aioli, all on a toasted cheddar cheese bun. The Big Cheese Pub Burger Double weighs in at 910 calories. I have the stats on the screen and in the description below. The single, double, and triple sets you back $5.29, $6.99, and $8.79 before taxes in Georgia. A combo basket will set you back an additional $3.30. So let's stop wasting time and roll on over to Culver's in sunny, hot, and humid Jasper, Georgia. Welcome to Culver's. What can we make fresh for you today? Could I get two, uh, crap. Could I get two Wisconsin Big Cheese Pub Burgers, doubles, no drink? Can I get you anything else to go with it? No, nope, that's it. All right, it'll be 14 96 I'll see you. I've got my Big Cheese Pub Burgers, and now let's pull off the side and do the Joe's Hungry temperature test. Pub burger number one comes in at 142.7 degrees Fahrenheit. Pub burger number two comes in at 131.0 degrees Fahrenheit. I would have thought they would have been a little bit hotter than that. I don't think I'm gonna let them squeak by on the Joe's Hungry temperature test. So now for a little more investigation, so let's head on back to the studios and do the Joe's Hungry weight test. Wisconsin Big Cheese number one weighs in at 8.85 ounces. Big Cheese Pub Burger number two weighs in at 8.40 ounces. With an average of 8.62 ounces, that calculates out to a hefty 81 cents an ounce. We saw how much it was, we saw how much it weighed. It kinda didn't do real well on the temperature test. I'm not really sure what's going on with that. Are they cooking them in advance? I don't know, maybe you can tell me. But now it's time for the Joe is Hungry Big Reveal. is what it looks like and this is what it's supposed to look like this is what it looks like and this is what it's supposed to look like this is what it looks like and this is what it's supposed to look like we've done all the tests save for one and that would be the Joe's hungry bite test so it is bite test engage doing very well in the temperature test. This is actually not a bad burger. The garlic aioli and the cheese are in perfect proportion and complement each other. The meat is cooked perfectly. It is very well seasoned. They weren't lying over at Culver's. This thing is really good. Now it's time to give this thing a score. If y'all don't my scale, my scale is one to 10. Nine being the best anything above nine is a once in a lifetime experience and almost never achieved. Five and down is the slippery slope to food hell. So let's go ahead and give this bad boy the number that it really deserves. Mm. 
I'm gonna have to go with an 8.1. That is an excellent score. This is an excellent burger. We could have been even higher had it come out a little bit hotter. That is my number. That is my review. We will see you in the next video.